Hi everybody, I'm so excited to be here today to share with you all that I know about cr the latest announcement from Cricut for the foil transfer system. This is something that I know a lot of people are really excited about because it makes foil, adding foil embellishment to your existing products even more accessible and easy to do. What's really exciting about this is that it's not just for the Cricut Maker because I know a lot of their neural releases are just for that, but it's for the Cricut Explore Air. Uh, machines as well as the Cricut Explore and the Cricut Explore 1. So this is really exciting news for everyone that has gotten a new machine in the last 10 years or so. And I know for some of those older machines, they haven't had a new release of anything for the past, probably since 2015 or so. So this is a really cool tool and I'm really excited to share it with you. So the key transfer system is a little tool that can embellish your projects with foil. It uses pressure it uses a pressure system to imprint the foil to, for lasting and professional results, and it is so cool. You can use it on a variety of different mediums that I'll talk about in a minute, and I just think a lot of people are going to find a lot of creativity with this, with this tool. There are other tools on the market, and I will also talk about the comparison with those in a few minutes, but this one is just so easy to use. It's just drop it in your machine. Um, it's totally compatible with Design Space, so you just pick a foil line type, and then you're ready to go. So first off, let's talk about what comes with the foil transfer kit. This is $39.99, and it comes with the housing and three tips. The little tips are for the different line types. So there's thin, medium, and bold. And that is signified by the little lines on the tip. So if there's three lines, it's bold, two lines, it's medium, and one line is fine. Um, all you do is just drop it right into your housing like that. It's magnetized. It's very easy to do. And then you drop it into tool clamp B. Then you make your design in Cricut Design Space. You could select the line type that you want. It'll imprint the foil into your project. The really cool thing about this is that because it's fully integrated with Design Space, you can combine it with different line types like cutting or drawing. So it makes it so your project goes a lot faster and you don't have to be constantly switching out materials or tools. When you buy the tool system, it also comes with a sample uh, transfer sheet. These transfer sheets you can also buy. Um, they have 12 by 12 sheets as well as 4 by 6 and they come in gold, silver, and in their bejeweled sampler. So it comes with green, purple, and blue. So those are some, there's some really fun things you can do with that. You do have to use the Cricut foil. You could attempt to use other foils, but they just won't work as well, especially if they are heat-based. This is a pressure-based system, so you're gonna wanna use the pressure-based foil. Cricut has designed this to work really well with their product. I would suggest using the Cricut brand foil. There are a variety of materials that you can use this on. Um, this is the list that Cricut has released, but I'm sure that you can kind of test and see if other materials work or other brands' materials work. But according to Cricut, theirs works with cardstock, faux leather and deluxe paper, foil embossed paper, which I was kind of like, I don't know why you'd want to put foil on foil embossed paper, but maybe some of you have more creative ideas than me. Watercolor paper, pearl paper, vellum, and printable vi vinyl. I am so excited about the printable vinyl. I have a couple projects coming up, so make sure that you um, subscribe so I can share some of those in the future. But those are the materials that they have said, oh, and craft board, totally forgot that one. That is a big one. Um, but there are so many different materials out there that they um, have been testing it with. Um, and these are the ones that they feel work best with the foil. However, you can always test what you want and see what works best. A lot of you are gonna be wondering how this compares to their main competitor, which is the Foil Quill by We Are Memory Keepers. This came out a year or so ago, and a lot of people have been using this with their Cricut machines. This is actually uh, compatible with a lot of different machines, so like the Silhouette or the Brother machines, um, but it, a lot of people use it with the Cricut Maker. The main difference between these is that the Cricut Transfer Tool is pressure based and this is heat based so you have to use a different kind of foil you have to plug it in and there isn't there is an added safety issue with this one because of the heat one other thing to keep in mind is that you have to remove the pen holder in order to use the foil quill which if you're still under warranty with your Cricut maker it is going to void your warranty so that's something to keep in mind this is $39.99 for the full kit from foil quill which includes the three different tips or the th three different uh, quills um, is $99. However, you can often get it on sale. We got ours for about $69 at Joann's, uh, but it is more expensive. You can buy the individual, so if you only wanna do thin or fine tip 
projects, you can just buy one for $39.99. They do have a lot more materials. Um, they have been out longer, but I would imagine Cricut will release more. But they do have more materials that are compatible, and there are a lot of tutorials out there for it. However, if you are a Cricut user, I would recommend trying out this one first. It's less expensive, and it um, is designed to work with your machine. With this, you can use it with Design Space, but there, it doesn't integrate with Design Space, so you can't pick a foiling type. You kind of have to mess around with the settings a little bit, and it is harder to do multiple line cuts or line cuts at a time. However, both of them have very professional and permanent results, and I know a lot of people love this one. However, I'm excited about this just because it's simpler, it's less cumbersome, it doesn't have any, um, it doesn't have any cords. Each of these have a cord to go with it. it. Has no heat, and it's just a little bit simpler to use. So that's just a little bit of a comparison. You can go to the link um, in the description for this video, and I have a more in-depth uh, comparison of these tools. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to use the foil transfer system with Cricut. First, we're going to go over to Design Space, and I'm going to show you how to design your project and then have it go to the machine and what you need to do. Then we'll come back here, and I'll show you exactly what it does in the machine. Okay, I'm going to show you how to use the foiling line type in Design Space. You'll just open up your project and use whatever fonts and colors and shapes or images that you want. I do recommend, if you're using fonts, filtering by line or by writing type just to make sure it's a font that will more easily transfer to foil to foiling. Um, Cricut has been adding a lot of images that are foiling friendly that you can add uh, that you can use for a lot of your projects. So that's really fun. So if you are, I'm going to detach that. This is what you'll do. You'll select the material that you want to be foiled and you'll come up to line type and click foil and then either fine, medium, or bold. I'm using bold, but this is what medium looks like, and this is what fine looks like. But for this project, I'm doing bold. So I'm gonna put these back together and attach it because I'm going to cut out my craft board and then I'm going to have it right, all will be well on it. I'm gonna click attach and press make it. When you see get to your map preview, you wanna kind of move it over a little bit so that there's enough space for you to tape it down so you can avoid the rubber, the black rubber uh, wheels on your Cricut Maker. Uh, you need to make sure that it's foiled, that you can tape it on all four sides and that there's enough space on your, on your base material um, to have all the foil that you need. So then you'll press continue and connect to your machine. And then you'll come click browse all materials. Since I selected foil, there are only a certain type of material, uh, certain kinds of materials that they will let me pull up. Um, so I'm going to press browse all materials and under compatible, it's going to show you everything that you can use. So you can use um, all the things I talked about earlier in the video. One thing I forgot was the clear printable sticker paper. So that's pretty fun. Um, but I am doing craft board. So let's click on that. Click done. And here you'll see that it tells you um, the order that you're going to do things. So you're going to load your foil transfer tip and make sure you have the right tip. If you aren't using the right tip, it can tear your material. And you want to make sure that you, if you want to switch it, go back to the canvas and change it there. Um, then you're going to tape it down, lay the mat, and then it tells you what is going to come up next. So we'll use the fine point blade net last. So now we're ready to go ahead and get started cutting. Okay, so I'm going to put my material down. You'll use whatever base that you would use normally with um, the material you're working with. So this is craft board, so I'm using my strong grip, uh, my strong grip mat. The each package of foil comes with these tape strips, and there should be enough for a lot of projects. But if you run out, they do recommend using a light adhesive tape, such as um, washi tape. Um, I wanted to show you what these look like. They are very thin and very delicate and can easily tear or get wrinkled. So I would recommend carrying, putting these in the um, containers or in the folders until you're ready to use them. Something that I accidentally almost did is that I almost got this stuck to the mat. It won't really hurt your mat, but you will not be able to use the material afterwards um, if it gets stuck to the mat. So be careful. You don't want to waste material by getting it stuck to the mat. Um, I would recommend cutting your material down to size just to ensure that you can use other material later on and so you don't accidentally ruin it. So I'm going to go ahead and measure that out. I need to cut it down a little bit more. Okay. 
see, as you can see right there, there's some of the foil that got transferred over. And you can see that it pulled it up on here. So you want to be careful about that. Okay, so that should be the right size now. So I'm going to tape that down. And you want to be very careful to make sure that this goes on as smoothly as possible so it transfers correctly. If it's not smooth, it may not transfer how you want it to. Be careful putting the tape down because it'll pull, it'll, if you have to pull it up off of the foil, I was able to adjust it here, but if you have to pull it up off of the foil, it will pull it up with it. So again, you don't want to waste material. And then I will just cut down a couple strips of this. there I kind of messed up a little bit so I'm gonna actually double tape it so it tapes the foil to the craft board and the craft board to the mat okay so now we're ready to go ahead and go and cut it it will start with the foiling process so I'm going to take my blade out I've got my handy dandy tool container right here and you make sure if you want to change out your blade if you want to change out your tip just press that top button on top and add in the one you want and just easily magnetize this to that. So I'll take out the five point blade, put this in clamp B, and it will load up the material. And a little press cut. So it does use pressure to put the foil into the material. It's pretty cool to watch, if you ask me. I did make a mistake there. I taped it too close to the material, so it kind of foiled through, which it did go through, but it probably won't look quite as nice. all that there's the imprint so now we're going to switch out the blade for the fine point blade how pretty is that and there you have it the new Cricut foil transfer system obviously I'm new to this too so there's a little bit probably a couple of errors in my um, process with this but it does make really pretty results and it looks very permanent I loved how easy this was to use. A couple things to remember is not to let your material get stuck to your mat. The mat probably won't get hurt, but you will you will end up with material that you can't use anymore with the foil, and that's not fun because it is a little bit. the The different sheets are between about eight ninety nine and twelve ninety nine, I believe. Make sure that you tape all four sides down with the included tape. If you run out of that, though, you can use washi tape or something with a light adhesive like that. To help prevent it from fo uh, the foil from crinkling or from ripping, I, I would make sure that you put down as smoothly as possible and then tape it on all four sides. When you are in design space, make sure that the project is positioned correctly so that it won't go under these little black rubber wheels or the white wheels that you've pushed off to the side because that will mess up with your design and it can get stuck in there. With my first project, it got stuck in the wheels and it got all messed up. I'm really excited to hear what you think about this tool and what projects you're going to do with it. Be sure to comment below what you want to make first and check out the links in the description for this video for even more tips and tutorials on how to use the foil transfer tool. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Cricut videos and let us know if you have any requests.